Let me share with y'all a major tip and a major secret when it comes to making money. And most people are gonna talk about strategy. Most people are gonna tell you you need to start a business and this is what you need to do to start that business, X, Y, and Z. But none of that is gonna matter. Absolutely none of that will matter when it comes to making money if you don't get this one thing down and correct. Let me save you a lot of time, a lot of heartache, a lot of mistakes, everything of that nature. First thing that you have to do in order to make money, in order to make any amount of money, especially if it's amount of money that seems big to you right now, you need to first start to change and switch up your identity. You need to change what you identify with because on this channel, what do we talk about? We talk about divine femininity and how tapping into your divine femininity makes you attractive, not just on a physical level, but on a energetic level. Your aura okay how you come off and making you extremely magnetic and this is for anybody to tap into male female everything in between outer between whatever the case is everybody can tap into divine femininity but what really is divine femininity about divine feminine energy is the subconscious mind right because when we look at the yin yang chinese philosophy and you see this in every other culture and religion by the way you understand the law of polarity you understand that there is a negative there is a positive positive. and when we understand this law of polarity when it comes to our mind power what we are understanding is that the feminine the feminine, the unseen realm is the subconscious mind and the light energy, the yang energy is going to be your conscious mind. We understand that the conscious mind makes up 5% of your mind and brain power. While on the other hand, your subconscious mind makes up 95% of your brain power, of your mind power. When you understand that your subconscious mind is the reason why you breathe without having to think about breathing, when you understand that your subconscious mind is why you walk, while you don't have to think about walking, you just walk because you know how to walk. Your beliefs that you implant in your subconscious mind are so deep because they are not something you have to think about consciously. You are that, you breathe that. It is the energy that you embody. So the feminine energy is the main influencing principle that can actually get you to the place that you wanna be in your life. It is the thing that you can't understand. It is the thing that you are. It is the thing that you embody. It is the part of yourself and your identity that you began to shift, not because of something outside of you, but because of something inward. It is the inside portion of yourself that changes, that causes the outside part of your life to actually shift. If you want to change your life, you change what happens on the inside first. You change your being, you change your identity. So if you want to be a person who starts to make more money, you want to be a person who starts to attract love effortlessly. You want to be a person who is beautiful. It starts with the inner work first. And this is what the majority of people are doing wrong. The majority of people are trying to fix themselves from the outside. They're trying to become prettier and better from the outside, so they change how they dress. They try to become somebody who is successful in business, so they do things that somebody who is successful in business would do. They try to take those actions without thinking and being and embodying the energy of a successful person. They try to be a successful person without getting to the bottom of their belief system that is telling them that their limiting beliefs are telling them that they're not worthy of having success in the first place. Because you wanna know what happens when you start making lots of money, but you don't have a belief that you are worthy first? You will make a million dollars, and then you will look back at the end of the year and realize that you have nothing to show for it. That is what happens when you only operate out of the 5% of your brain and you completely ignore the unseen realm and you completely ignore the feminine part of yourself, the yin part of yourself. If you wanna be successful, you want to actually hold the success, be the success, be the love, attract the relationship, whatever it is that you desire, you must change the way that you move and operate within. You change the belief system and you expand your identity. Because when we think about beliefs, 
Beliefs are only inputted in our brains based off of the things that we learn to be true about ourselves and our reality. And how we learn those things to be true is because of our childhood and the family dynamics that we had, what our parents told us who we are, what it is to be true about ourselves, how to act, how to respond, you know, how to be. And what society teaches us to be true through culture, through social media, we take these things in and we begin to create and shift, create this reality and create this identity we start to develop comfortable zones and comfort zones we start to really feel comfortable in our current life circumstance and we start to become very stagnant because sometimes the comfort is always going to leave you stagnant in order to expand and to become something bigger than yourself you need to start picking and choosing what you're comfortable with I know this is gonna be very harsh, but if you have been making the same amount of money for the past year, even though consciously you desire to make more, but if you continue to make the same amount of money, you are comfortable and you like, and you are cool with making the same amount of money. If you've been broke for years and you've been continuously broke and that's just been the story that you've had for yourself, you are comfortable with being broke. Because the moment that you become uncomfortable, there's something happening within your being. What's happening is you're deciding that you don't identify with broke anymore. You don't identify with negative shitty toxic relationships anymore you decide that you identify with greatness and if you decide that you identify with greatness you will be greatness the majority of reason why 99 percent of people are going to be poor and why there's only one percent of people being rich is because most people are going to continue to think be and act and talk like the 99 percent while the one percent of people act talk and think like the one percent so if you want to be the one percent you have to think act like talk and be the one percent if you want to be and continue to be the 99 you continue to stay where you are that's the harsh truth because when it comes to what we identify with this becomes our comfort zone if we are comfortable with the fact that I am a black woman and because I'm a black woman I have to work so freaking hard compared to other people and even if I work super hard then I'm not going to be able to get there because all of all these other people they were born to be these people so that's the reason why it's going to be easy for them if you choose that reality if you choose that belief system that is what you will continue to create for yourself. And I know it sucks to say and it sucks to hear and it sounds like I'm being somebody who is just not relatable. It's because I choose not to relate. In order to be something that most people are not, you have to sometimes be unrelatable. You have to be willing to be unrelatable. You understand the systems. You understand that it sucks. You understand that the government sucks. You understand that we have a history of trauma. You understand these things, but you don't let it define you. You define yourself as who you want to be and you stop relating to struggle. You stop relating to your comfort zone. You stop relating to your environment because you decide that you want to be more. And how you start to change your identity is first of all, how do you talk to yourself? How do you talk to yourself? How do you speak to yourself? One, inner talking. Neville Goddard talks about this a lot. How do you talk to yourself? The moment my life really started to change was the moment I really started to talk to myself different. I started to really one up myself. I used to really start thinking and talking like, yeah, I'm, I'm dope. I'm a millionaire. I'm excellent. I'm smart. I'm great at everything that I do. At first as I was good at everything that I did, but then I started to say, I'm great at everything that I do. I'm great at everything that I do. I am great at everything that I do. I am great at everything that I do. And all my biggest insecurities, I realized that my insecurities literally are my biggest greatness because behind every single one of my insecurities lies a limiting belief. And if I can identify those limiting beliefs, then I can also change them. Most people never identify their limiting beliefs and they stay stuck to those limiting beliefs. They get held hostage to those limiting beliefs. But the moment that you identify them, you change them around. You start deciding who you want to be. So all my biggest insecurities, I'm not a good speaker. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not good enough when it comes to making money. As soon as I really recognized that I believed that way and how I was talking to myself, I started listening to every time I said I can't. I started listening to every time I said I want. Because underneath I can't is a belief that you can't. Underneath I want is a belief that you are not. 
I started listening to every time I said I'm trying because underneath I'm trying is I am not. I started to listen to every time I said that and instead of continuing to go down that path, I changed my belief because I knew that every time I said that I'm trying, I didn't believe that I was. So instead of saying I'm trying, I said that I was. I said that I am. I got really sure of myself. And from the moment that I rose from my sleep and the moment that I woke up, okay, before I even open my eyes, when I awake, I start repeating affirmations to myself and talking really, really freaking good to myself every morning every morning and that's why I am the person that I am now that's why I'm able to make the money that I'm able to make now and I'm continuing to literally expand my container expand my ability to make more because I'm changing my identity I understand that your identity is malleable your identity is malleable what your mom told you that you were doesn't have to be true anything is true anything and everything is false what do you want to believe? One of the biggest exercises that I love to do is if I could create my perfect life and if I could create any belief and if those beliefs were true, if I wrote down these beliefs and everything that I wrote down would be true, what would I want to believe? I would want to believe that this world is magical and I am a co-creator of this universe and I can create the reality of my dreams. I believe in magic, I believe in energy, I believe in frequency, I believe in the stars, I believe in the understanding of as above so below and if as above so below I can be able to actually change my destiny and my life. What are your beliefs? If anything could be true, what would you believe? Write that down on a piece of paper and start implanting those beliefs into your brain by saying them every single day. What could be true about you? If you could be a millionaire, if you could be anything you wanted, what would be true? What would be true? Because every belief is false and every belief is true. So which one do you want? Another way to change your identity is to change your environment. A lot of the times when we wake up in the same room and the same house around the same people in the same place we will continue to be the same person because our environment is empowering our identity so if you want to be bigger you need to change your environment and if you can't do that like if you can't move to a different city you can't go to a different house right now whatever the case is sometimes the best thing to do is if you're going to go to the store try to go a different way instead of going the same way that you've always gone to the store go a different way or go a different way home try to wear Wear different pieces of clothing. Try to wear the pieces of clothing that you actually want to wear or something different. Take a trip, take a vacation to somewhere where you think would be amazing. Use some astro cartography. <laughs> take a trip somewhere. Go on a retreat. Change your environment. Be exposed to different things. And if you can't physically change your environment, then you need to mentally change your environment as well. Stop in taking the same information that has been empowering your current reality and take in information that is of a different frequency so that you can resonate with different things. For example, start listening to podcasts of people who are already super successful and see how easily and normally they talk because they're in that frequency right now so it's easy for them, it's normal for them. And when you start to identify with that by listening to those things every day, by listening to successful people explain why they're being successful, by listening to people who you know are doing the thing that you wanna do, if you implant your brain with that, every single day they basically become your mentors when you're listening to an audiobook or when you're reading a book these people are basically becoming your mentors you're literally present to everything that they're saying and you're in taking all that information you're reading a book as if it was first person so change the things that you pay attention to because those things are also shaping your identity you can do this by like I said changing your environment decide that you want to be in a different environment decide that you want to change your environment for example I just went on a trip to Atlanta and it was absolutely amazing I was surrounded by beautiful spiritual women learning about divine feminine goddess energy and I was getting my certification to be a womb wellness and feminine health practitioner and I did it ah! But like I said, I was surrounded by these beautiful spiritual women and I came back home and it was almost like I went through a portal. I was surrounded by energy of, of just greatness. And then I recognized that I needed to become greater and I recognized that I'm able to become greater. 
literally the moment that I'd recognized that within myself, people start treating me different. People start showing me more respect. People start really giving me my, my flowers. <laughs> people start paying for me and all types of things. I'm like, hold up, I'm really a different woman because I changed my environment. I stretched myself, I stretched my belief system. I got an Airbnb that was pretty expensive for me, but I got it because while I was in that Airbnb in Atlanta, I saw the views. I saw that breathtaking view. I saw that clean environment and I felt like, wow, I'm waking up in this environment. This is what's possible for me if I continue to go after my goals. This is what is possible for me because I was able to see it. If you're not able to see it, there's no way that you can be able to be it. You have to see it for yourself first in your head. And some of the, if you cannot visualize, the best thing that you can do is to go there and just do it. Even if it's only a temporary experience, that temporary experience can change your life and reality. Get out of your city, get out of your neighborhood, start talking to different people. If you're around the same people who have this belief that they're not going to be nothing, that they never going to be nothing, that their family wasn't nothing, so they not going to be nothing, that's what you're going to be. Nothing you're gonna continue to be nothing. You need to surround yourself with people who are trying to be more, who are more, who are great and think like that. That's how you be like that. You change your identity. So the key to changing your identity is by changing your environment, changing the way that you talk to yourself, recognizing your limiting beliefs. And once you see them clearly, you change those beliefs to the direct opposite one. And you affirm that for yourself on a daily basis and you will end up in a place where you are in the best relationship of your life, where you are making the success, where you are creating the wealth for yourself, where you are breaking the generational curses and you are stepping fully into your potential. There's no need for potential when you are already great. I will talk to you guys soon. If you guys like this type of content, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, please subscribe to my channel now. Check out my course, Psych Your Secrets of Seduction, if you want to learn the ancient energetic secrets to becoming attractive and irresistible. And also check out my book, which dives deep into these type of principles and esoteric principles of the law of attraction, which really is divine femininity in action, right? And if you want me to be your mentor, if you want me to build a business with you one to one, I will mentor you through the process, book a class session with me only if you're serious and you're ready to grow you're ready to strategize i'm ready to support you i want you to succeed so book a class with me down in the description box as well and i'll talk to you soon peace out